eyes on the San Francisco Bay. Linda Muma is live in Sausalito, deep, diving deep into what goes into a successful water rescue. Hey, Linda. Yeah, good morning, guys. It's not every day that you see a surfboard on top of a fire truck, right? Okay, they call this a rescue board, of course. We're hanging out with the Southern Marin uh, Fire Protection District here. They're getting ready to do a live demonstration for us on a, of an open water rescue. I want to bring in Captain Matt Bouchard to tell us a little bit about uh, this company. What, what are they gearing up to do right now? Uh, so, first of all, welcome. Thank and uh, today we're going to do a little demonstration of uh, one of the, the many different disciplines that we're responsible yeah. for uh, providing to the community here in Southern Marin. Today we're going to do a simulated uh, water rescue utilizing our rescue watercraft uh, with some rescue swimmers. We're also going to put our uh, fireboat in the water and uh, show you the, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge area of our service area. Fantastic. You have a lot of area to cover. Yeah, we're a small district, 54 members, but uh, we cover a, a pretty... Uh, a pretty sizable piece of waterfront uh, all the way around uh, through the Golden Gate uh, National Recreation Area up towards Muir Beach and the inside of the bay in the Sausalito Richardson Bay Area. Okay, and, and Battalion Chief Matt Barnes, you're also joining Good us. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about the equipment that we're seeing and how you utilize this equipment on the job. So we respond to about one water rescue call every 10 days. Wow. And we have a variety of equipment that we use to deploy resources in the quickest and most efficient manner possible. So today we have some rescue watercraft, we have the rescue surfboards, we have our rigid hole inflatable rescue boat, and we also have a fire boat. Wow. Um, we have dive team and rescue swimmers that deploy to go and, and retrieve our victims. And that, what type of rescues do you, do you respond to? We have people that we, we respond to the Golden Gate National Recreation Area in and around the Golden Gate Bridge. We have boaters that become distressed. We have people that fall off the cliffs, and we'll have to go and, and rescue them in the water. They end up in the water. Um, and then we have some recreational uh, people, windsurfers, kite surfers, mm -hmm. those types of individuals that find themselves in a little bit of trouble when we go out and get them. Got it. Okay, I'm going to talk to the other Matt. You're telling me that you are going to be one of the swimmers yes, that is going to be going yes, after the person that you're rescuing. Yes. Who's going to be in the water? Uh, well, we always uh, select the most junior member of our fire agency <laughs> to be our victim because they're going to get roughed up a little bit and they're going to have to stay in the 52 degree water the longest. Oh, wow. Uh, so, yeah, he's uh, our junior member is over here. He's checking out uh, his, some of his equipment and uh, I'll swim in and get him, but I'll okay. turn him over to the rescue watercraft. Uh, and they're rescue swimmers, so they'll swoop in and do the, the rest of the recovery. Fantastic. Looking forward to this. Okay, coming up in the next hour, we're going to get closer, a little bit closer to the water. Talk to some of the guys as they just about go into the ocean to start this rescue. So stay tuned, guys. Ooh, all right. This is happening. See you in a little while. Okay. Linda, taking us it's up happening. close right there. It's happening with the Bay Area Water Rescues yep. today. Thank you.